Angie Singer with Old Men Stories Opry, and we're here in Lamar's, Iowa, talking with Frank Tuma. And thanks for coming over here, Frank. Thank you. For being on our show, Old Men Stories Opry. And you've got some great songs that you've written, and we're so excited that we got time to pull you out of performing and have you sit down <laughs> here with us. Glad to do it. And you've been performing at these festivals around in this part of the world for a lot of years. Quite a few years, actually. What got you started? Well, coming to these festivals. I guess I I uh, want to learn how to play music to get girls. <laughs> it's the how bass player that? that gets the girls. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, I got a few. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for you. They're but, groupies wherever you go. <laughs> yeah. No, I and then I got interested in five string banjo and got hooked on it, I should say, and wow. learned how to play. And, uh, was it Lester Platt or was it Scruggs? It was Scruggs. The, Scruggs, the Scruggs. Scruggs was the banjo. And, yeah, the three finger style. And uh, I, when I started, I never dreamed how many people I would meet from all over the world because of music. And it just continues on more and more. And all even the time. here, and even, even here, here yeah. this week, there's people here from Holland, Australia, mm -hmm. Ireland, yep. Canada. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. They're they're all here. It's a wonderful place to be. It might seem quiet right now, but they're out there. They're Believe out there. Me, they're out there. Yeah. And there's a lot of people here that we recognize the names, mm -hmm. and a lot of people that are known national. They call them national star people. Then you see them sitting with the yeah. walking around, <laughs> yakking with people, sitting there with their guitar, just yeah. sitting there playing with people. It's just yeah. phenomenal. Like Ben Steniker from Holland. He's staying with me in the camper. Oh, he said he was staying with somebody here yeah. when we interviewed him. Yeah. Yeah, so, what a nice guy. Yeah. And yeah. he's from Australia. Holland. How, oh, he's the Holland he's one. He's the one from Holland. Holland. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, Netherlands. Who'd ever thought that? Yes, and there happen. was a girl, I, I'm not going to say she was blonde, but there was a girl that said, Holland, I thought he said he was from the Netherlands. <laughs> oh, kind that's right. Same. Look, we'll have to ask you about that. <laughs> kind of the same. Kind of the same. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> so we're going to talk about another one of your wonderful songs. Um, the name of this song is... I Think I Met Hank Williams in a Bar. I Think I Met Hank Williams in a Bar. Usually names are a little small. A little it's kind of long. <laughs> it's almost as long as the song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, where were you... Um, when you wrote this song? I wrote it at home. And not I, in the bar? Not in the bar. Oh. No, I got the idea. I was traveling to Alabama to play at the Hank Williams Festival, and we played in a little place in northern Missouri on the way down. Now, how did you get invited to the Hank Williams Festival? I, I started, I got invited by, uh, it started out, I went to the Hank Williams Museum up in Montgomery, which is pretty much where he grew up, and uh, just got involved with the people that run it, uh, Beth and, and Jeff Petty, and we went to a bar in Montgomery that night. They said there's a guy, I asked if there's any place around Montgomery I can do some picking. I brought my guitar along. I said, yeah, we know two guys that are going to play up in the hotel lounge. You, you go up there and tell them who you are and you're playing with them tonight, and they'll let you play. And they heard me sing, and then they invited me to play at the Hank Williams birthday band. And some people were there from uh, Georgiana, Alabama, which was Hank's boyhood home, 60 miles south of Montgomery. They come up to me right after I played and said, we want you to play the Hank Williams Festival next year. So, and I played that for, yes. I don't know, five or six years. And so and, from that experience, you wrote this song? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> But on the way, sounded that, good. It, it sounded good. I almost ran with it. <laughs> I thought that sounds good. Um, on the way to play the festival one time, we played at this little place in Missouri, and the guys—they're like 100 miles north of Kansas City—and the guy said, "You know, one time years ago, about 1951 or two, there was a guy sitting in a bar here drinking by himself." Pretty soon a taxi come and picked him up, a taxi from Kansas City. And when he left, 
this guy looked over and said, you know who that was? That was Hank Williams. So that planted the idea, I think, on that Hank Williams in the bar. Ah. And Hank played at that time at Kansas City, so it could be a true story. Let's, don't, let's don't just say it is. We'll run with that. Yeah, let's run with that. <laughs> <laughs> and let's hear this song uh, by the great Frank Tuma, a great songwriter. And the name of the song is? I think I met Hank Williams in the bar. In the bar. <laughs> I think I met Hank Williams in a bar 